coming up on today's episode of Airborne Uncrewed. Bristow to expand UK maritime search and rescue operations. Electrified Propulsion Committee issues foundational standards. And US Navy unmanned helicopter impresses. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Uncrewed program, a weekly news program covering all things uncrewed, in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Uncrewed Vehicle Systems International. Let's get into today's stories. Bristow to expand UK maritime search and rescue operations. Bristow Helicopters has been awarded a 10-year contract by the UK Maritime Coast Guard Agency to support the second-generation search and rescue program. Subject program tasks Her Majesty's Coast Guard and civilian contractors with the establishment and maintenance of a 24-hour maritime and coastal search and rescue emergency response service throughout the UK. The new contract expands upon Bristow's extant search and rescue partnership with Her Majesty's Coast Guard and includes the operational deployment of Shebel's Camcopter S100 unmanned air system, a relatively large all-weather day and night unmanned rotorcraft in broad use with worldwide civilian and military operators. The Camcopter S100 is powered by a 55-horsepower Austro AE50R Vonkel rotary engine that turns a single 3.4-meter or 11-foot 2-inch main rotor with sufficient vigor to motivate the vehicle's titanium and carbon fiber fuselage to speeds and altitudes as high as 120 knots and 18,000 feet, respectively. Notwithstanding its maximum gross takeoff weight of 200 kilograms or 441 pounds, the S100 typically carries a 75-pound payload for up to 10 hours on a 57-liter tank of either 100LL Avgas or JP5. And after the break, Central Colorado UAS begins fundraising for drone park improvements. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. In the next Uncrewed Minute, let's take a look at some shorter stories making the rounds of the Uncrewed vehicle communities. Central Colorado UAS begins fundraising for drone park improvements. The Central Colorado UAS organization continues its work in forging model infrastructure for uncrewed aircraft support, announcing the receipt of grant payments for enhancements to the Buena Vista Drone Training Park. The announcement outlines the first half of $50,000 in funding that will be used to establish a, quote, small, portable classroom and other education initiatives, end quote, allowing the CCUAS to build on its drone flight facilities with some educational infrastructure. Additional specifically designed flight proficiency areas are on the docket, too, said Group President Taylor Albrecht. A new obstacle zone and racing course, shelter for operators, and small educational improvements are on tap as well. USAF and Aptima to jointly develop eVTOL training curricula. The United States Air Force has contracted Aptima Incorporated, a Massachusetts-based think tank and training institution about the business of measuring, assessing, informing, and augmenting human performance in the high-tech, high-stress, high-stakes environments peculiar to the defense, intelligence, law enforcement, healthcare, and aviation sectors. Aptima will assist the USAF's Air Education and Training Command's Detachment 62 in developing curricula and certification standards for eVTOL pilots. United puts down $10 million eVTOL deposit. 
Archer Aviation has received a $10 million down payment for 100 specimens of a four-place eVTOL vehicle the company is developing. The yet-to-be mass-produced contraption, somewhat ironically dubbed Maker, is currently undergoing flight testing. Archer claims Maker will have a per-charge range of up to 60 miles and a maximum speed of around 150 miles per hour. Camaris announces partnership with CIDA. Camaris has partnered with CIDA Corp. The partnership seeks to outfit Camaris's proven and popular Seeker UAV with CIDA's Incident Global Area Network Command System and Super Video Compression Technology, thereby giving rise to a tough, agile, sharp-eyed drone capable of dramatically improving the situational awareness and operational efficacy of first responders worldwide. And that was our Uncrewed Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Electrified Propulsion Committee issues foundational standards. SAE International's E-40 Electrified Propulsion Committee, an assemblage tasked with developing and maintaining aerospace standards, practices, and reports germane to electrified aircraft propulsion, has released two foundational standards. ARP 8676 Nomenclature and Definitions for Electrified Propulsion Aircraft This standard establishes common language by which engineers, pilots, and aircraft operators may reach common interpretations of terms salient to new domains, new technologies, and new architectures pertinent to the electrified propulsion of aircraft. AIR 8678 Architecture Examples for Electrified Propulsion Aircraft This standard categorizes electrified propulsion architectures and provides relevant examples of such. This document also provides common definitions for the elements of architectures by defining elements of electrified propulsion architectures, including any private power generation and distribution systems, as well as energy storage elements, elements of electrified propulsion architectures, including any private power generation and distribution systems, as well as energy storage elements, interfaces to and from the electrified propulsion system, interfaces within the electrified propulsion system, and energy management and storage architecture of an electrified propulsion system. The SAE International E-40 Electrified Propulsion Committee is a technical committee within SAE's Aerospace Propulsion Systems Group. The forum comprises technical experts from aircraft operators, aircraft and aero engine OEMs, pilots, testing laboratories, governmental regulatory authorities, research and defense agencies, and academia. Technical reports and standards issued by the SAE E-40 Committee pertain exclusively to electrically powered aircraft with payload weights equal to or greater than 150 pounds. And after these messages, U.S. Navy unmanned helicopter impresses. In Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at aviationsafetyresources.com. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. U.S. Navy unmanned helicopter impresses. Northrop Grumman's MQ-8C Fire Scout is an unmanned helicopter based on Bell's 407, itself a derivative of the hugely successful 206 L4 Long Ranger. The autonomous vehicle provides reconnaissance, situational awareness, aerial fire support, and precision targeting support for the ground, air, and sea forces of its primary user, the U.S. Navy. Recently, the MQ-8C supported an expeditionary advanced base operations exercise off the California coast, during which the formidable UAV demonstrated its ability to transition from ship to shore in a maritime environment. 
EABO is a form of expeditionary warfare predicated upon the effective employment of mobile, low-signature, operationally relevant, and relatively easy to maintain and sustain naval expeditionary forces from a series of austere, temporary locations within a contested or potentially contested maritime area. Dubbed Resolute Hunter, the Joint Coalition and Large Force EABO exercise in which the MQ-8C Fire Scout participated saw the vehicle log a total of 23 flight hours and prove its expeditionary usefulness from both land and a number of ship classes. During the exercise, Helicopter C Combat Squadron 23 successfully launched an MQ-8C Fire Scout from Point Magoo and completed a handoff to the detachment's portable mission control station at San Clemente Island. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.